stabilizing uh, the crew lock, uh, which is now in progress. A good view of Kevin Ford, Discovery's pilot at the robotics workstation in uh, the Destiny Laboratory of the International Space Station. Ford will be joined uh, soon by Nicole Stott uh, to operate the Canadarm2, the station's robotic arm that will be used uh, to haul uh, Christopher Fugelsang around uh, as he uh, works to swap uh, ammonia tank assembly hardware, the uh, used ammonia tank assembly that was removed during Tuesday's spacewalk from the Port 1 truss is uh, affixed to the uh, end effector of the Canadarm2, a good view there. The new ammonia tank assembly uh, that will replace it uh, in uh, the P1 truss uh, for cooling of the avionics and electronics of the uh, left side of the backbone of the International Space Station is housed at the rear of Discovery's cargo bay that you see in that view. The uh, new ammonia tank assembly uh, will be the order of business at the beginning of the spacewalk as Danny Olivas uh, works to remove a thermal covering on uh, that new tank while Christopher Fugelsang uh, moves into position uh, planting his feet in a foot restraint at the end of the robotic arm. Olivas and uh, Fugelsang will then work in tandem to release four... Okay, 10 minutes, I'm going to send this uh, DHEA back out of the way. Okay, that's a screw down. Waiting for point five Delta. Okay, copy, Danny. We see the same over here. So uh, you have a go for EVA, EV hatch open and stow. Okay, here we go. And with everything uh, in good shape in the Quest airlock, uh, we will see the thermal cover uh, pop open shortly and the opening of the hatch. That is the precursor to the suits being placed on internal battery power for the start of tonight's spacewalk. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The gates around 5.1. Are they suspected? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Let's call that in. Coming down. Yeah. We're looking at uh, the yeah. It's coming down. Uh, it's 4.8. Maybe it was that you open the hatch and it deepened very quickly and like fish everything's following it. Okay, Houston EV1, did you copy any two comments? Thanks. Danny, uh, verify that it's stowed. It is in the stowed position. The impact coming to close. The impact valve is in close. The starting post press uh, on your DCM for both EV1, EV2, power to battery, staggered EV1 first, and then EV2, expect warning tone. Check display is functional. Does it work? Okay, bad EV1. Okay, bad EV1. EV2 on your DCM, disconnect 
your SCU from your DCM, install the DCM cover, and stow an SCU, stow the SCU in pouch. In order to be one. In order to be two. Thank you.